Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about variable step size P and O MPPT algorithm for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So let's start with uh, a flow chart of uh, variable step size P and O MPPT. So this is a flow chart for that. Uh, Improved variables step size P and MBPT algorithm. So, this algorithm, uh, so we have to measure the following parameter the voltage and current of the PV panel, and then you have to measure previous instant and uh, previous the previous instant voltage and current and you have to calculate the current instant power and the previous instant power and then initially you have to check with uh, the del p del p nothing but power difference between current instant to previous instant whether which is equal to zero or not so if it is equal to zero means uh, the pv panel is maintained at 10 that means operate at the maximum power point and level so then no need to change anything here so directly we return here right so suppose this condition is not true so next you have to check whether the change in power is greater than zero or not if change in power is greater than zero so next you have to check the change in voltage the change in voltage is whether greater than zero or not if it is greater than zero next you have to check the change in current change in current so based upon change in current if changing current is greater than zero so you have to increment the duty cycle by using step one or else you have to increment the duty cycle by using step two the same if this condition is not true then we need to check change in current whether it is greater than zero or not if change in current is greater than zero then we need to decrease the duty cycle by the step one and then or else the condition is not true then we need to decrease the step by that means duty cycle by step two the same way if change in power is is not greater than zero then once again we have to check the voltage level change in voltage level whether it is greater than zero or not if it is greater than zero once again we have to check the change in current is greater than or equal to zero if change in current is greater than zero then we need to decrease the duty cycle by means of step one or else we need to decrease the duty cycle by the step two the same way this condition is not true then once again you have to check that change in current so based upon this current if it is current this uh, this condition we need to increment the duty cycle by step one or step two so here step one step two known as a variable step size so the step one step two is the parameter is going to be updated based upon following formula so here you can see the step one and this is step two so this is the formula for updating step one step two so based upon change in power change in voltage and then current okay and then this is the n n dash a1 a2 are constant so here you can see that a1 is less than 1 and less than a2 okay so this is a condition for updating step 1 step 2 so here the constants are n dash a1 and a2 so a2 is uh, always greater than a1 so a1 value really should be less than 1 so in also another coefficient so based upon this coefficient step 1 step 2 and then so moreover you can see that uh, so this value n dash a1 a2 is constant so the step 1 step 2 values depends upon uh, three parameter that means change in power change in voltage and current okay so this value going to be changed according with this parameter okay so this because of that the value of step one step two step two also always 
uh, change according with this parameter okay that's why it is improved variable step system and algorithm so this step one step two values goes to zero when uh, the pv power goes to maximum level so this is the concept in the improved air in step size pin algorithm so here how, how we are going to uh, implement this algorithm in the matlab you have to see here so this uh, system is created for implementing that variable step size into a bit algorithm so this algorithm consists of that uh, solar pv panel about 250 watts and then uh, this is load so load is connected to the system by means of boost converter and then the boost converter igpt is operated by means of this variable step size being told algorithm so it receive uh, different inputs the inputs are pv voltage current and then that n, n dash value a1 and a2 and then maximum duty cycle value so in inside we written some code okay this is the code for that variable step size into algorithm so here you have to <coughs> calculate step one and step two and then you have to check the condition change in power change in voltage and change in current so based upon that we have to subtract and that uh, and decrease the duty cycle by step one or step two the same way you can increment the duty cycle by step one and step two so this is the code for that to variable step size we into algorithm so based upon that flow chart we created this code so here you can see that so this is a code for that uh, calculating step one step two so this code going to be executed if the condition that means the n value is should be less than dd max divided by m if this condition is not true so that means it's not execute this load okay so it will be maintained that uh, duty cycle at the previous duty cycle okay so while if this condition is true so you have to apply our variable steps explained earlier concept or else it will be maintained at the previous duty cycle value okay so this is a code for the variable steps explained algorithm so next you have to check the system results so here i'm initially i'm going to <coughs> fix the irradiation equal to 1000 watts per meter square and then i'm going to change the load say every 0.3 seconds so each load will be added at every 0.3 second okay and then you have to check the performance of the system that mean how that voltage and current and power is changed according with the change in load condition so to check that one So this is a variation of uh, PV current and converter current. So this is a variation of PV voltage and converter voltage. So this is a variation of uh, PV power and converter power. So here you can see that the PV power is almost maintained at the 250 watts because so we are consider uh, 250 watts panel, right? For 1000 watts per meter square 25 degrees Celsius, the maximum power is around 250 watts so that uh, 250 watts maintain okay in, in the pv panel uh, with the uh, changes in the load condition so even though load is changes the pv power maintain constant okay so next you have to check the result with the change in irradiation condition so i'm going to change the irradiation so here I am going to change the irradiation for every 0.2 seconds and then check the, the response of the paint algorithm that means variable steps, steps as paint algorithm. So here you can see that uh, so this is the variation of PV current and uh, 
converter current so this is a pv voltage and converter voltage so this is pv power and converter power so here you can see that that means every 0.2 seconds i am varying the radiation from 1000 to 800 600 400 200 so every 0.2 second the radiation will be decreased by 200 watts per meter square and also you can check the detail here right for 1000 watts per meter square the maximum power is around 250 for 800 is uh, around 200 for 600 is around 150 and for 400 is around uh, 99 okay so here <laughs> you can check the the maximum power of this of the PV panel. So here I can see that the maximum power is around 250 for 1000 watt per meter square. For 800 watt per meter square, the maximum power is around 200 watts. So for uh, 600 is around uh, 150 watts. For 400 is around 99. So for 200 is around 50. Okay. So for change in radiation condition also, the maximum power extracted from the PV panel. So by using this variable step suspend into algorithm or else we can call this improved variable step suspend into algorithm that means so we are going to uh, adjust the duty cycle based upon two steps step one and step two that step one and step two is calculated based upon this formula so this is the working of this the improved variable step suspend into algorithm for the solar field system so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to channel and also click bell icon for notification of the video. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye bye.